What is up everybody? My name is Christian with Front Street Music and today we are talking about the Bender from JHS. Like stated earlier, today we are talking about the JHS Bender. It's part of the Legend of Fuzz series by JHS, paying tribute to the fuzz pedals of old. The one we are looking at specifically is based on Josh Scott's personal Tone Bender Mark III from, you guessed it, 1973. Tone Benders are legendary guitar pedals played by some of the most legendary players, such as Jimmy Page from Led Zeppelin, George Harrison from The Beatles, session players like Vic Flick, and then just putting it out there because he's my favorite guitarist ever. Drew Shirley from Switchfoot, his JHS signature pedal, is also based on a Tone Bender Mark III. Just putting it out there. Recently we looked at the Plasma Coil Fuzz from Game Changer Audio, and where that was more on the glitchy side of the fuzz, this germanium circuit is based more on the cleaner, more silky sounds of fuzz. Like so. <laughs> It's just how versatile it is. And not only that, it sounds great with every single thing that you do with it. As always with these demos, I'm using my Vox AC15, mic'd up with an SM7B. Let's give the drive signal a listen. Now, let's kick on that bender and let's see how it sounds. So as you can tell, that sounds incredible. I'm plugged straight into the normal channel of the Vox. All the knobs on the pedal are at noon. That's just how good it sounds straight up. Now, let's have a little bit of fun with this. Like I said, everything that we just heard was all the knobs at noon. Let's crank that gain, turn down the volume, and let's see how this sounds. <laughs> So even getting all the gain from the pedal, that sounds incredible. Let's do the exact opposite now. Let's switch out the Les Paul for the PRS Silver Sky. Let's crank the volume, turn down the gain. We're going to use it for a nice bluesy boost. That sounds incredible! So now some quick extra fun things that you can do with this specific pedal. The JHS mod on the side of the pedal, it just boosts the mid and the gain. So first we're going to engage that. We're going to turn down the volume again, put the gain all the way up. Lastly we're going to knock that tone back a little bit, and then just use the volume knob on our guitar to find that sweet spot, and you get an 8-bit retro, almost video game synth sound. Hear me out, it's awesome. The other fun trick is if you put everything back at noon and we again play with our volume knob on the guitar, it actually cleans up very nice and you can get some beautiful rich sounds. So along with this, I'm gonna hit a little bit of delay, a little bit of reverb, make some nice ambient space here. If you 
guys are into praise and worship music, this is actually a fantastic fuzz for it. I know, I know, fuzz in church, it sounds wrong. But hear me out, I've used this with bands already, it sounds so good. So, along with this pedal, I'm gonna turn the gain down a little bit, keep the tone and volume at noon. I'm actually gonna put on the Duke of Tone here, and we're gonna keep that delay and reverb on. Let's hear how this sounds in context. <laughs> saying I'm putting my money where my mouth is this is my personal pedal this does not belong to the store I love it so much I bought it for myself this is going straight on my board I love it that much so if you are like me you love how it sounds and you want to check one out for yourself head over to Front Street Music on Facebook or on their website or heck, come see us in the store play one for yourself I know you're gonna love it and until next time have a good one